Tonight is the official public accuracy test that is required by state law. But before we get to that, this is Robin Faust. She is our new deputy clerk, and I am going to be swearing her in right now. And so, Robin, I'm so glad to have you on board. Thank you. She's I'm fantastic. Looking forward to this. All right. So you say right now. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm going to swear you in, no back no. <laughs> no back no. My mask is too tight, so it keeps slipping off. Hold on. All right. I, Robin Faust. I, Robin Faust. Do solemnly swear or do, affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this state. And the Constitution of this state. And that I will faithfully perform the duties. And I will faithfully perform the duties. Of the Office of Deputy Clerk. Of the Office of Deputy Clerk. And then for the Charter Township of Meridian. In and for the Charter Township of Meridian. County of Bingham. County of Bingham. The state of Michigan. State of Michigan. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Awesome. I Congratulations. Did <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy to have you on board. <laughs> I'm glad to be on board. All right. So on to the business at hand. All right. So tonight, and I'm going to read this from state law. We have the election commissioners here, our deputy clerk is here, and our technician is here who the election commis commission has authorized to do the public accuracy testing and his name is Zach Leemaster and we stole him from the city of Lansing and he's awesome and we're highly appreciative. So I'm just going to read um, what we're doing tonight from uh, from the manual for public accuracy test. It's just a little short thing so you know what's happening. Uh, prior to each election, all electronic tabulating equipment must be tested to verify that the equipment is performing properly, the ballots have been properly prepared for each precinct, and that the programs will accurately count votes. It is the responsibility of the election commission to conduct a preliminary, which we've already done, and public accuracy test, which is what we're doing tonight, where a test deck of voted ballots is tabulated by the electronic equipment, seen behind me, and the results are verified against predetermined results. State law states in part, before beginning the count of ballots, the Board of Election Commissioners shall test the electronic tabulating equipment to determine if the electronic tabulating equipment will accurately count the votes cast for all offices and all questions, the test shall be conducted in the manner prescribed by rules promulgated by the Secretary of State, which is what we will be doing tonight. And so test procedures for nonpartisan election with proposals, um, since it is a May special election with two questions on there for Oklahoma's public schools, the test procedures working with the ballot to be tested, but we prepare a chart that reflects, reflects that and then uh, Zach is going to talk about what he does to run those ballots through for the testing, and then he's going to go ahead with the testing of it. Okay. Just a little bit closer. All right. So the first thing is I already explained this to the commission. This is the instructions for the test deck. This is showing exactly all the ballots that we have uh, marked already and these are the results that we're looking for at the end we're looking for two yeses on each proposal and two no's on each proposal we have seven ballots and four of them should not work so we're going to go ahead and get started on that right now and then we'll see what the results are at the end uh, the first one is an over voted ballot The uh, results of this ballot should not count, and it should automatically try to kick it back out when I put it in. Should it probably help if I started making the poll first? And this is the zero tape printing out right now. This is saying that the tabulator has not been used and that the memory cards are empty. Now we're going to come and put this first ballot in. All 
and the issue found is an overvote. So we're going to return the ballot. Go ahead and put it back in again. And we're going to hit the cast button. And that will force it to take the ballot. The second one is a gray marks ballot. This ballot has been marked around the bubbles, but not fully filled out. And this should be the same situation as the first one. So it's alerting me that the ballot has not been filled out properly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cast again and force it to take it. But none of these votes will count. This third ballot is a blank ballot. Nothing has been filled out on it at all. And it'll do the same thing. Just hold this button down and it'll take the ballot. Uh, this one has been voted correctly. This one has a no on each proposal. And then I, yeah. And I think our, uh, I think our last action, we were done exploring. And then I thought we were barricading ourselves in that center room to, camp out for the night and get a very nice rest. Hey, Stephen, we can hear you talking. I don't know if you want to mute yourself. I'm sorry, apologies. It's okay. Uh, this ballot will not go through no matter what. This one is for the wrong precinct. So no matter what you do, this ballot will be rejected. And I don't even have the option to try to force it through. These last two ballots are both voted the same way. They're both voted yes, and they should go through no problem. All right, and that's the last one. We're gonna go ahead and shut this down and print out our total state. All right, here comes our results. Go ahead and cut these off. Now, just to confirm what we said earlier, it should be two one, two one on both proposals, two yeses and one no. And as you can see, that is exactly what it says. So if you guys will verify it, we have two yeses and one no on each proposal. Yeah. All right, so that's that. Now we can go ahead and clear this tabulator back out. Do a code really quick. And that will zero it out. And now I'm going to put this seal, which the number has already been recorded on it. But we're going to put this seal on this tabulator. And the seal will not be removed until after the polls are closed on election day. And this is to prove that. Uh, all of this is legitimate, that it has not been tampered with since this testing has taken place. And that's the last thing I got to do. Okay, and then we sign. Yes, the sheet is up on the table okay. over there. All right, and then we just hold on to the sheet. We don't send it in anywhere. Yeah, I got to yeah, just hold on. Okay. All right, so that is the end of the uh, testing of the tabulator. And I want to thank uh, Zach and our election commissioners, Courtney Wazinski 
and Kathy and Sullen for being here. We signed a document verifying the results of the public accuracy test. And I also want to thank our deputy clerk, Robin Faust, for being here. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call our office 853-4000. Thanks.